This tutorial is from a subscriber wanting to know how to put text on an oval. A little bit more different than putting text on a circular path. So we'll open up GIMP and then go to New, open a new file, New. Now I'll pull down the template and choose 1024 by 768 so it's a reasonably sized canvas to work on. Now I go to my ellipse tool and draw an oval on the screen. Now you need to do a bit of homework before you start doing all this because you've got to get your oval the right size you want. Now we go over to the layers channel and click on the tabs path. That one there. We come down here to this little icon and selection to path. So we click on that and make a, a selection for the path. And that puts the oval uh, in a selection. At the moment it'll only be used as a template but further on we go back and use it as, as a part of the uh, exercise. Now because text always wants to start around about one o'clock on a circle and you can change it by uh, going into the past dialogue and, and changing where it starts but it's a little lot more difficult and you can also change the direction that it'll start from but the best plan is to use the path tool. So we click on the path tool and we can click here anywhere in that area and then move out to the edge here. That's an anchor point and then you put another anchor point there. Go to the, the line and just push it up oval shape. Now you have two handles, that one there and the other one. We pull that handle down and you can see the, the path being drawn and you need to tweak it fairly, just move it up a little bit and you need to tweak it pretty close to what you want because the path tool does really place it on the area that you chose. Just tweak it up on that other line. There we have it, now we go to the text tool and because it's a reasonable size canvas I need to check, click a reasonable size text Check, click a bold one and move the text up to about 20, 24, 5 will do and then type in there. Now it's not uh, big enough the text so I'll move it up a little bit bigger because we need to, we're going to work with it and make it look better later on. So there we have it, now we go to layers and text along path. There we go, we started that point there and we ended up around here somewhere. If you don't move your pointers long enough, the uh, the text will cut off and you'll have all sorts of troubles. Now we go back to the normals dialog over in the layers channel and we delete that text layer because it becomes a nuisance after a while and clashes when you're working with two text layers. So we put that one in the waste bin. We go back to the layers the past and now we choose the path tool once again and of course you can put your text anywhere on this oval once again an anchor point another anchor point and the path tool makes new layers for you as you go along now we just grab somewhere in the center and drag it down to the oval edge now you grab your handles and you just move it in very slightly tweak it up so you get it on the line where you want it to be now sometimes you need to tweak it a little bit different than the top one because when you do the oval for some reason the text lays a little bit differently. There we go. Now we go to the text. Now once again we go to layers and text along path. Let's just put it right where I want it to be. Now I go back to the normal layers channel and get rid of that text because as I stated it will play up on you later on especially when you go and, and fix your text so if we go back to the past dialog we click on the top one this tab is ready this little one is ready to go the uh, icon there click on it and it says path to selection it selects the text now we go and fill it with a color 
fill it with red, bucket fill tool, and fill hole selection. Click on that button there and just click inside one of the characters and it fills it with the colour. Now we come to our next text layer, which is that one there. Of course, with the eyes still on, click on it to activate it. Once again, the icon there, click on path to selection and it selects the path. Once again the bucket fill tool and just click inside one of the text and it'll fill it with a colour. Now we go to select and we select none. Now we go back to our little colour there and we switch it over with just by changing it back to black. We go back to that tab there and we select path to selection once again. And now we go to edit and we stroke the selection. We don't stroke the path because you've got multiple paths there and it'll do just what you ask. So you click on stroke selection. Now there's too many pixels there, we move it down to one pixel and click stroke. Now I move up to the top text, path to selection and that selects it and turns the other selection off. Once again I go back to edit, stroke the selection, it's already on the one pixel and click stroke. Now I just go to select and select none. Now come down here to our first selection we made, which was the oval, we click the eye on. And now we need to put in, highlight it, make it a working layer, and click the icon there, path to selection. That's selected it. Now we go to select and we grow that by about, uh, let's say 20 pixels should do and click OK. Now I go to, to edit. We stroke the selection not the path. If you select select stroke, stroke path it will stroke both of those paths. Now I move it up a couple of pixels because it's uh, a lot further apart. Click stroke and it's done its job. Now we go to select and we select none. Now we turn those eyes off on all all the channels. We go back to our normal dialog and there we have it. We have our text on your noble. Now you can put your uh, logo inside there or whatever you choose. You just dress it up to your own liking. There's a hard copy on this in the, in the uh, description below. Click on more and you'll find a link to a web page where you can get uh, all the procedures as listed in this uh, demonstration.